Hey guys, Portia here and today I want to use Canva Pro to create my own fashion magazine cover. So I think this would be really fun to put on like a, for sublimation on a t-shirt or a bag or you can even use it for a water slide. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to first create a design and custom size, which is going to be, I'm, I'm sorry, 8.5 by 11 inches. And the very first thing we are going to do is go over to photos and I want to type in silver glitter because I love the bling and we're pretty much going to work our, on our design and layers. So the bling is our first layer and let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I want to add in another layer to actually, so this isn't going to be the main image. We're going to create a border with another image and I want to type ombre. And let's pick something that's going to make everything in the foreground pop. So I'm going to start with this one, but I might come back in and change this image out as everything comes together we'll see so the glitter is just really going to be the border and the pink is going to be our background all right and get that centered so now like i said everything is a fashion magazine cover so the next thing i want to do is start adding our text and the very first text is going to be in this upper left hand corner and i want to put our date All right, and then I'm going to duplicate. Well, let me make this a little bit smaller before I go do that. I want to duplicate this box. And the other thing you'll find on a cover is like the issue number or even the volume. So I just want to write VOL dot and we're going to say 365 because we are fashionable all year round. All right, and so let's slide this all right, up. Great. Now I'm going to add in a, another text box. So you do know on magazine covers they'll give you a glimpse of what's inside by using different headers and stuff like that. So the first header, oops, I want this to say in caps, fashion, right, great. And now the next thing I want to do is go over to elements and I want to add a line in. And and I'll just underline fashion right there just like that all right and we're gonna go back over to text because I want to add some more text in here and okay and what I want to do is move this over to the left and with line space and I want to take this bring it all the way in okay and with the font I think I want that to be the belly bold. And then we're just going to make this a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to stand out too much. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just continue to make my little headers and subsections. By copying each area and placing it around where our main picture is going to go now we have all of our subsections in with a little blurb as to what we'd actually find in the magazine let's go ahead and start with our other elements that we need to add in and the first thing I want to add in is a crown and this again is a fashion um, cover so I want it to be fabulous and there is a crown in here that I like and apparently it's down way far so I put it in my likes and we're going to use this one right here and let me make sure that that is black black all right so move on now there is a font that i picked up from defont.com and i'm going to add it as the title of our cover and it's going to be queen 
and the name of the font is here we go Balgeris I think that's it I think I pronounced it right if I did not forgive me all right so we want to nestle this in so that it looks like our crown is sitting right on top and as I begin to add in our centerpiece our lady here she's going to be on the cover for this September issue then what's going to happen is I might uh, move some of this stuff around but as for now I think this looks pretty good and I do want to skew this just just a little bit all right cool now I want Queen to pop off of my page so I'm going to add some effects and it's going to be a shadow and I want it to be white and we can't see that so I'm going to take that up a notch well a lot <laughs> All right, so now I want to go ahead and add in our centerpiece. Now, I was able to find these fashion images by doing a Google search. I just searched fashion sketch dress, and I got a couple of different ones. But the one I'm going to work with today is this lady here because she looks pretty fierce, and I think she fits our overall theme. So I think that looks good right there. Maybe a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is click on Queen and position it a little bit back because I want it to be behind her like she's in front of it. I'm going to pull this just a little bit because I do want it to look like she's coming off the edges or walking, walking off the page. Okay, I'll come back to that. All right, the next thing I want to do is edit the image and I want to add a shadow. And one that I really like is called Glow. And let's go into the sliders because I want to make it white. And let's see. You can play with how much of it, of the blur effect you want and of the transparency effect. And so I actually like this right here because it gives this glow to her and it makes it look like our fashion icon is popping off the page so I think I'm going to roll with that now one thing is because she's popping off the page I think I want to go ahead and make the popping or the pop <laughs> a little bit more pronounced so let's try a see look now you can really see it. a darker color really makes that that white halo thing that we did really makes it come to life so yeah I think we'll go ahead and roll with that and now the last thing that we need to add is a barcode so let's go back over to elements and I am going to type in barcode and this is going to look like a legit magazine that we um, personalized ourselves and this needs to be white because can't nobody see that all right and there we have it our personalized magazine cover um, I really enjoy creating this I don't know if I'm gonna put this on a t-shirt um, for myself or you know give it away to somebody I love giving stuff away um, I could even imagine this just the queen and the crown and the, the the girl as a water slide I think that would be dope on a cup I don't know about the whole thing as a full wrap not sure but um yeah let me know what you guys think if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know um, and if you found this video helpful could you go ahead and give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it but guys as always until next time peace